netshoot utils plugin so we're gonna see how this plugin is going to help us so if i just go to advanced pdf template let's say you're editing this xml content in the bottom and if you want to save and edit this you have to scroll up all the way up right and you have to just click on this drop down and click save and edit multiple times this plugin actually provides you an save and edit button and I also a you. preview button wherever you are on the page you can just click save and edit and it's going to stay wherever it is and it's going to save also on the other hand if i just scroll up another one it also provides you the versions of this pdf template let's say i just save this now it just shows the current version as 3 and if i want to roll back to my first version i can select the first version i can see the code which was in the first version of my advanced pdf template it's showing me the advanced pdf template in the version 1 so let's try this another preview which is side preview let's enable this so it's actually providing me a side by side view particular pdf another one which is actually pretty cool and on the other hand it also says live preview let's see whether it works so let me just enable this live preview and let me just scroll down and i will try to add a one column field on this next to partner so i have the partner here let me just add a new header a test and i want to paste some value for that a hard coded value as you guys can see the moment i start typing and leave it and it is actually generating the preview itself another one i can see the column already added as a test here and also the try the value which i try to the value which i try to show is test and try initially it was not there but i just added it it actually previews my file another one Or if I click this preview directly here, it is going to replace this page with the preview. What if I can preview it here itself without even going to another tab? The bottom, I can see an option of preview. If I just click this preview, I can see the results directly here itself. There is no need to go back there. If I want to expand, I can even expand this and I can see the results. Another option which Netsuit plugin provides. So let's say I am navigating to this transaction. I can see all the names like banks, purchases. In a very smaller way there is no need to go completely down now if i just go to this another page where i went enable this plugin now you can see the how big the navigation options are i have to click scroll down i have to actually scroll down to select the management options particular page but if in this page if i just try to navigate there is no need of scroll down i can quickly navigate to management and it also provides you an option in the plugin itself where you can adjust the height as Another option which is provided by Netsuit Utils plugin is smaller drop down list. When I click on this drop down, I can see all the list of values in a smaller place. So another coolest option provided by this particular plugin, Netsuit Utils plugin, is search navigation. If I just enable this search navigation, so I'm going to start searching for preference. It shows me all the preference options available in this Netsuit account. And, and also, it shows me the navigation that I have to follow. In order to reach this particular page let's say for calendar preferences it shows the navigation steps and i can even toggle it off and the another option which is provided by netsuit utils plugin is if i want to delete this particular sales order actually i have to go to edit and then click on this actions to see the delete option but right now i'm in a view mode and this is the option which they provide where i can see edit and save and also a delete record option so i can directly click on this delete it will it is going to delete this particular record directly from here without even navigating to edit mode and, and then clicking on the actions to delete this record so it's actually providing me the option directly in the view mode another best thing which this plugin provides is whenever i do this particular sweetlet it actually provides me sweetlet actions as a drop down where i can click on this open script record which is going to open me the script record and if i click on open deploy record i can open the deploy record also and if i want to clear all the logs of this deployment i can just click clear all deploy logs directly from here so when you click on that plugin icon it actually provides an option to find the records quickly so you can just click on this and you can just select the transaction type or item or the search or the script you want to find 
So I'm going to select the transaction. I have the internal ID of this transaction called sales order. So I'm just going to click open record and it's going to open me the sales order record. And on the other hand, it also provides you an option to run your SuiteQL query. So I'm going to click open on this. And another coolest thing about this plugin is it actually provides you an option to enable the features, actually enable all the features of this plugin directly from here. Like toggle on, toggle off, it is going to uncheck, unselect all the features. And if I toggle on, it's going to select all the features. And there is an option of meeting mode also. Let's say, you, let's say you're using most of the features and you go into a client call and you don't want to show all this uh, customized versions. So you can just make this as a meeting mode where this plugin is not going to work. And later you can uncheck this meet okay. meeting mode. This plugin has a lot of options to explore. It actually helps the developers and also the administrators to try with this. One of the main features it shows is the account ID shortcut key. And also it provides the different colors for each and every different types of account. And we saw this advanced PDF floating button, PDF review, advanced PDF review, and a live code generation also, live execution of the PDF. And it also provides you the different versions of the advanced PDF template, better page styles on your web browser, drag and drop multiple files. And even on the script record, you can drop your script file. And this is all the options it's going to show you. And the fixed tabs on the save search. And a search preview directly on the save search page itself. And more record options on most of the records in Etude, like sales order record, even it can be custom record or even it can be script record. And another coolest thing is navigation search. We already saw. And this is also one of the better feature, I would say, remove logout pop-up, which actually blurs out most of the part when it gets logged out. And we saw all these smaller drop-down options, smaller navigation options, and also this fleetlet actions for this. Another one. It's a scripted records plugin. So once you add this particular plugin, you should be able to see this particular logo on your uh, plugin extension list. Let's say you have this particular sales order and you wanted to know what are the scripts deployed on this and what are the workflows which are deployed on this, right? And when you click on the extension plugin icon and it loads you all the script details for this particular sales order record. Right now I can see two workflows and one client script and one user event script. And on the other hand, I can actually preview the file directly from here. What is the script name, the script details, every single thing. And also, if I wanted to open this particular script, I can just click on this hyperlink. It will take me to the script itself, script record itself. Etude HTML script notes plugin. So this plugin is actually pretty cool. So if you just see the logs, like array of objects, everything, it's more readable, right? What I've done is I have already created a script. I have provided almost all the options like array of object, objects, and nested objects. And also I tried to print it. So this is the standard Netsuite logs, how it looks. So here is the HTML tag content, a nested object, and then a single object, and an array of objects. There is another logs, which I got the results after enabling my extension. So this is how it looks finally for the HTML tag, for the nested object, the single object and the array of objects it is more readable here. On the other hand, it also provides you a link if you specify something like this. So let's say if the key is record type ID and the value is an internal ID, it actually converts into an hyperlink. So if I just click on this particular link, it actually takes me to the sales order page. So the plugin which you're going to talk about is Netsuite Search Export. So there are two different plugins. One is called as Netsuite Search Export Plugin and the other one is called as Netsuite Save Search Export Plugin. And uh, let's see what is the difference actually of them provides. So right now I have a Save Search. It says uh, item order sublist view. And in order to use those two plugins, one of the main criteria is you have to create your Save Search first and then it has to be saved. So once it is saved, okay. you can click on the edit this search. And when you click on the edit the search on the top right hand side, you should be able to see those two plugins. It says export to suit script. And now let's try this particular first plugin, which is this one. And now I'm going to click on this export as script. This actually provides me suit script 2.x code and also suit script 1.0 code also. And along with that, it also provides me a sample code, which I can use it in my 
browser console and uh, in order to talk more about this it actually you can you guys can see easily it exports all the summary level uh, details like minimum group or even maximum something like that even average and also it provides you an option to eliminate this label if you don't want to see this label in your columns you can just check this and no labels it is going to remove that and on the other hand it actually provides you the run api uh, it's going to run the search object with a run api which is limited to 4000 results and it also provides you an option to create your own save search within your script and save it in a save a copy of this particular save search now let's go and check the another plugin which is export save script 2.0 x if i just click on this it actually provides a similar kind of content but the difference is uh, it uses const and let keywords so it actually supports in suit script 2.1 so make sure when you copy it we have the suit script version as 2.1 and on the other hand it actually adds all the columns into a separate variable so all the columns on this particular search has been created as a separate variable and then they are using it within this columns and we can see the whole filter section here good part of this plugin is it actually uses the run paste based the uh, api to run the search and it's going to give you more than 4000 results it's not restricted to 4000 results this particular api which runs on run paste and page ranges actually it's going to provide you more than 4000 results it's not restricted it should failed explorer plugin let's see what it can do if i go to my sales order so once you added this particular plugin you should be able to see the logo and once you click on that particular netshoot field explorer let's say i am in the sales order record i am going to click on this particular logo of this plugin so it's going to load the complete sales order details on this or like kind of a json based data i would say based on field id you can search for let's say i want to find the subsidiary i can search it based on subsidiary and if let's say i want to search it based on the amount let's say 75 thousand i can find the field which has this particular value and let's say i want to check for the item choose all the options and if i just scroll down all the way want to show me the line level fields let's say i want to see the item sub list i can directly expand and check it even from there or even i can filter it based on the value which i want or the field id which i want and also it provides you an option to open the record browser directly from here so if i just click on that particular open record browser it's going to take me to the record browser and also it has an option to open the records catalog directly from here the next plugin which we're going to talk about is nice then it should advanced field level plugin it actually provides you the option to copy the field ids and not only copy the field ids and let's see what else it can do let's say i am in the sales order so i have opened the sales order in the edit mode so let's click on this particular custom form field and it gives me the copy field id button and it also shows me the field value of this particular form and the field text of this particular form and even i can enter some values directly like internal id 109 68 something like that directly from here and on the other hand it also provides you the list of drop downs available for this custom form field so i can even click on the set directly from here and on the other hand i have created a custom field so if i just go to my custom tab and this is the field which i have created and this actually as a list of record of advanced pdf templates so if i just click on this particular field help it actually provides me the custom field id and also it provides me a link of this particular custom field body field so if i just click on this it will directly take me to the field itself the transaction body field itself in edit mode so i need not to do this big steps like to navigate and then open it and then find this particular field and then open it right it, it also provides you the type of field and what are the values available for this particular field so let's close this and let me go to the items the one more important thing is right now let's say you have a list of items the sub list so if i let's say i'm going to click on this item standard field and if i just right click and click on advanced field help i can see the field id of this item sub list and the item sub list name this currently selected line number the field value internal id and the text value of this particular field so also i try to test the custom column field so if i just scroll right this is a custom column field if i just click right click if i just right click and click on netshoot field help i can see the column id here itself we're going to talk about netshoot show field id plugin 
So we'll see how this is helpful. So if I go to my sales order, I have already added that particular plugin. So if I just keep my mouse over over on this particular field, it actually shows the field ID directly without clicking. So in order to copy this field, I'm gonna hold my shift key and then press click. It says ID copied to my clipboard. And let's say I want to find some field. Right now I'm in shipping sub tab. So if I want to find this particular field, let's say ship date. I'm gonna copy the field ID and I'm gonna to navigate to item sub tab. And if I if I want to find that particular field using field internal ID, I'm gonna do control shift F and it's gonna pop up and I'm gonna paste the field internal ID and I'm gonna click OK. It actually directly takes me to the tab of that particular field by highlighting it. So let's try with this custom field. I have a custom field here. So I'm gonna copy this field by clicking shift click. And then I'm gonna do control shift F. Find this field. In order to find before. So before I find I will let me click on somewhere else. Let me just call up. I will click control shift F. I'm gonna paste that field ID. Click OK. So it actually takes me to that particular field directly. Let's say you have the name of the field and you want to find that particular field by the name. So the shortcut to do this is just click control shift and L and there will be a pop-up you can enter your label name and you can start searching for it so on the other hand i add this item level custom field called as cr test invoice so let's see whether it works for column level field so i'm gonna click on accounting as of now and i'm gonna find for control shift f and i'm gonna paste my column id and i will click ok so it directly takes to my item sub list and it points to my custom column field Attitude Links plugin. So this plugin actually I use only for one purpose, but it actually provides multiple options. For example, if I just click on that particular, and it provides multi instances record browser, script modules, record to JSON, and also it can it says that it can search for sweet answers directly from here. I actually tried that, or it takes me to the home page. So the only reason which I use this particular plugin is to load some record modules. Let's say there are modules which we can load into our browser console let's say i want to load the search module i just select the search and click on this arrow it loads the search module here and actually start running my script directly here and i will start testing it here itself so let's say i'm going to run the search it's going to run for me and i want to check the search result count I can see the result count. It actually runs. Even I used to do the record or load, record or submit. Actually, pretty much, uh, instead of loading each and every single module, like by typing require and all those stuffs, it actually saves me time on this main purpose. So I just use this particular plugin only for this particular purpose to load some modules and test it out. I haven't tried the other uh, options like multi instances and other stuffs. Let your kids watch it. So the same thing we have to the shortcut to do this is so the the short uh, short the shortcut to do this is no god please no 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 